here's another interesting thing actually. So if you so what are the consequences of market orientation? Of course, if you're if you're market focused, if you're customer focused and so on, your customers are gonna be very happy, and if your customers are happy, that's gonna drive profits and market share. That's fairly straightforward. Right? But here's Here's, uh, here's what we never expected. We, we, this is based on some research. People who work for market-oriented companies are really happy. Their mindset is, wow, this is a great company. It has its eyes on the ball. It knows what customers are doing. It knows what competitors are doing. This company is going to be around for a long time. It's going to be successful. Like you were just describing, I don't know what numbers you gave, but your revenues grew from whatever to whatever. So, so Andrea, I bet you, without asking, I can tell you he is, he's not going to leave his company because he knows this company is going to be successful over and over again. And with growth and success come more opportunities. And so he is happy and he'll contribute more to the company. On the other hand, if your company is not market oriented, if I'm an employee, what's my mindset like? My mindset is like, well, this company has no clue what our customers are saying. It has no clue what competitors are doing. It's not changing with times. This company is going to be eaten alive by competitors. And so as an employee, what do I do? I want to get out of this company. I want to go work for you know, Andrea's company. So my productivity is lower, and if my productivity is lower and my enthusiasm is lower, well, the profits and market share of the company are going to be lower. So not only does being market-oriented have an impact on customers and therefore profits, but it also has an impact on employees who work in the company and then on profits and market share. So those are the two effects from customers and employees. And what's this part over here? Direct effect of market orientation on profits. That's really more tactical kind of stuff. Uh, and to an extent strategic, but this is sort of, if you're more market oriented, you run the right promotions, you run the right advertising, and so that is more effective and that improves your profits and market, uh, market share. So in a nutshell, being market, you don't want to be market oriented just because everybody says you should be market oriented. No, you want to be market oriented because it generates business returns. That's why we want to be market oriented.